some sugar? <laughs> you ain't dead, is you? <laughs> Not yet, you <laughs> ain't! <laughs> 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 I don't know. Column's got a sense. Handing him over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Column's right, we can draw them all back. Uh, true. Where'd Column and... He's escaping! Shoot him! Relax! Relax! I got him! I got him! <laughs> Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. <laughs> But I will. <laughs> ah! Finally! Put his weapons over there! Arthur Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <laughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Uh, Why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Colm. No, no. Uh, it's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole uh, bunch of my boys. Uh, uh, six point guy. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Colm. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it. They get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sword. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you.
I don't want to go to Mexico. I want to go home. Home! Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of me. <laughs> My dear boy, what? They got me. Uh, I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan, you're uh, safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. Uh, uh, oh. You are safe now, Arthur. You're safe now. Uh, that's pretty. It does. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home.
I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Scars. Okay, Uncle. Yeah, I'm gonna do some sniffing around, see if I can drum up some leaves. Hey, Charles. Good to see you back on your feet. No rest for the wicked. Morning, Arthur. Hey, Mary Beth. Glad to see you back on your feet. Okay. Uh, a few new scars, but uh? I'll live. I'm fine, Jose. Okay, we'll find things to do. Of what? You okay? Morning, Arthur. Where's my money? Where is it? Uh, what? What, what? What do you mean? I'm joking. Christ. How many times a day do you shit your pants? Come on, please. Hey, Lenny. How's it going? Good. How you feeling? Much better. What are you doing? Going fishing. The river's around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. Fella I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Uh, I can't fish with you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. There's a spot not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Glad you're so excited about this. You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. <laughs> come on. The fish should be hungry for their breakfast. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. Yeah, come on. Huh. Been a while since we rode out, just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, yeah. Already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, 
I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This? This is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And Dutch, you... You don't feel like, well... That he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is won without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves, what they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. We'll cut through to the right here. The other day, I rode down to the Lanahatchee River. I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee River? No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahatchee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feather. Okay, it's just down the hill here. Try our luck. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast from over to the right. There, so we're not in each other's way. of day really can make a difference. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out. We're lucky we got such nice weather, but rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects. Well, I guess it's still relaxing, even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman, especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of mine. Here. Crickets. Thanks. Yeah. He's a fighter. Trick is, let him tire himself out. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. Okay, let's try for another. I was thinking, you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah, it was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We opened the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. 
You know, way back in the day, Homo Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs Main Street got meaner and Dutch. Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. I've heard people talk about a huge smallmouth in Lake Oangila, west of Strawberry, over in Big Valley. You need a lure to catch one that big, though. Told you it wasn't that hard. Don't rush it, Arthur. Might make a nice meal. Oh, keeping you. It's almost noon. Fish will stop biting soon. Because of the bugs? Yeah, they only feed in the morning and evening when it's cool and the bugs are out. So maybe we try a few more, then head back. Fine with me. Another one. Let me get out of your way. Come on. Slowly. Slowly. Not bad, you see? It's the bait. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me, or, uh, you keep trying for these bastards? I'll come. Okay, let's go. A dame to join us here. Make a big pot. I'm starving. What are you making for? You'll see. They kidnapped me when I was 12 years old, right from my mama. Is that so? Malcolm Foreman. Well, he treated me. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. He was bad. I've noticed you've stopped paying into the box. I've been sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Hmm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. How's that food coming along, Pearson?
You okay? <laughs> hey, Fenton! <laughs> oh, never again. I've lost my mind, Mr. Morgan. Lost it entirely. Nice to see you too, Reverend. I've lost it. I used to be an intellectual. Now I'm just a fool. Well, <laughs> I've always been happy as a fool. <laughs> you all just laugh at me. I know you do. Oh, Driscoll. Morning, mister. Don't worry. I ain't gonna kill you. Oh, well, good. Just keep your head down. Yep, all right, man, see ya. been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what about Ward and Orpheus? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so? Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these great boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you... <laughs>
Morgan. Do you see that window and Shaw's skull? Don't talk to me about slap. Better in here, not there. Might be on to us after all. Now it's sinking in. So much for loot. What damn loot? We ain't getting out of this with nothing. That's assuming we even get out of it. Of course we're getting out of it. This is you and me, Morgan. We always get the job done. Ah! You call this getting the job done? You see Bill anywhere? Ah, uh, no. See that? Those cowards are running away. Looks like most of them. Not all of them. They're great. What about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. Who do you think you are? Bunch of two-bit thugs from God knows where? You're so dumb to think we don't know what you've been doing. Come out, Sheriff. It's over. We put down far worse than you a hundred times over. This is the Grays town. Always has been, always will be. Only Grays I see left around here is you. You want us to come out? We'll come out! Shit! Oh, Bill! Guns on the ground, now! Both of you, don't do it! You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Sheriff! I'll blow his brains out! You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? Hell was I to know. Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. And you can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Very improper someplace, quiet. Maka? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things.
Take a deep breath, okay? Everybody just calm down. Now, I know you're worried, but we have everybody looking for him, and we are going to find this boy. Arthur, have you seen the boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Okay, let's go get that boy back. Must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know. I heard about Sean, too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know. But we are getting him back, and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. But if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on!
Sean. Now, Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. You shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... This must be it! I 
can't see a goddamn thing! One, two, three! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. Uh, uh, what about them? <laughs> now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. That's right, burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here. We searched everywhere, Dutch. You got that one, Arthur? Uh, I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here! <laughs> Liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. Or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. <laughs> what are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 